Hello everyone, this is a review on the Netgear Powerline 500 MBPS adapter. So what this will let you do is it will let you connect your router to this little plug here. And then you plug one side into the router. And then you plug the other side right here into your Ethernet cable. You plug it into the wall outlet. And then you take the other one, you plug it into the wall outlet. You plug an Ethernet cable into it, and then you can run it to your device. So I'm going to show you how this actually operates and how it works and the speeds of them. Uh, it says 500 megabits per second. That might be a, reaching it a little bit for most home networks uh, because your your limiting factor will probably be your your uh, internet server, your provider. And then uh, also it comes with two Ethernet cables. So again, we're going to see how this works and see if this might be something to help you uh, solve some uh, home networking issues. Okay, so you see the Ethernet cable in here. You're just going to have to trust me that it actually is going into a router. And you simply plug it into your wall outlet. And you're ready. Now you need to plug it into a wall outlet and not into a um, power strip or a um, surge protector. It works best if you actually plug it directly into the wall. And it might not work at all if you plug it into, a, again, a power strip or a surge protector. Now one thing to notice is how small this one is relative to the previous generation of uh, Powerline AV500s. So this is the older one and it's probably two and two and a half times bigger than the current generation. So now this is plugged it in. Now what's going to happen is your internet signal will go into this and it will actually run through the um, uh, wiring within your home so that the other side when it plugs in can use the signal. So it's almost like magic. So let's see how it works. Okay. Okay, excuse the, the wires and the mess back here, but you can see I've got the power line now plugged into the back here, and I don't have it plugged into my power strip. And what that is going to do is it's going to run actually into the back of my television here, and we're going to see what kind of connection speeds I'm getting with my television using the uh, power line AV500. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm going to actually check the speed of my internet connection through my television. So I'm going to do this, and then. We'll start it up. And you'll see that I'm running at 3.21, which is fast enough for internet TV. Um, so you can do things like Netflix um, and actually stream through your, your television. Um, so 3.2, and again, that's probably mainly because of my internet provider instead of my uh, the connection itself. So we'll do it one more time. This time it shows 18, again, so it can show a bottleneck from uh, the internet provider. So, third time to charm. And again, 8.1. So, we've seen here three times varying between 3.5 megs per second to 18 megs per second using strictly the wire connection through the Netgear AV Powerline 500. Okay, what you see here is a RCA or competing actual uh, internet adapter. Now, this doesn't work for all adapters because I've tried it before, but the RCA will actually work in conjunction with the Netgear. So we're going to check the speed here using uh, the Netgear on one side and then the RCA A in the other. And you'll see right now it's not quite as fast. Um, it's running about 2 megs per second. But it does work. So we'll, we'll try it one more time because I've actually gotten speeds faster than that. So right now you're going to say nearly 17 megs. So this is another way if you want to have three or four of these and you don't necessarily have the same brand the Netgear and the RCA do seem to work together. Okay, a few last words on the Netgear Powerline 500 megabits per second adapter. I'm going to give it four and a half stars. It works really well. Um, it might not get truly 500 megs per second depending on your network, but it's fast enough for me to uh, do uh, high definition TV, online gaming, and whatnot. So it does work. It works with other with other brands as well. I do like the fact that it's smaller, that they reduce the size by more than 50%. So it helps uh, declutter your wall. <laughs> and the other thing that you can do with it, again, so you can plug it directly into your, your HDTV, but you can also plug it into an additional router um, someplace else in your room, in your house, and so that you can actually um, extend your range beyond just uh, where you're at. So, uh, again, you can have two networks in your house, and you can put them on different corners or, or however you want it to work it. So um, it does give you a lot of capability. And again, it's pretty neat that you can run your, your internet signal directly through your electrical cables in your wall. Just remember not to try to plug it into a power adapter or a, a surge protector.